when you use the ultrasonic, there's different ways you can use your tip, but you always want to make sure you're using channeling technique. So we're going to be using these Nordent Lux Point ultrasonic inserts, which are great. They have lots of different shapes we should talk more about, but let's talk about the way you actually use them. So you can either do like a probe style, which is the point going towards the gingiva, or you can do a curette style, which is the point going towards the way you're using. So you literally just imagine it like your curette, distal line angle back, distal line angle towards the mesial. However, you don't wanna treat it like a curette. I don't wanna do these up and down lateral pressure like I would with my actual curette. It's gonna be something completely different. So the technique you're going to use is called channeling. And what that is, is you're gonna start at the top of the deposit or the top of the calculus or the start, the top of the gingiva. And I'm gonna go down in small back and forth to the base of the pocket. So I'm gonna show it up here so you can see it better. I'm gonna start at the top of the deposit. Let's pretend there's a deposit there. And I'm gonna go down in a little back and forth, one millimeter wide all the way down. Then I'm gonna come back and do it again. And this will ensure we cover the entire root surface, the entire tube, and remove any bacteria or disease epithelium or calculus, anything that's causing destruction for your patient. It's really important. A lot of times we see people ultrasonic and they do big, huge back and forth. And with that, a lot of times in these tiny pockets, we're missing areas and we're not adapted correctly. So when you use your ultrasonic, one millimeter length strokes channel down towards the base of the pocket or the apex of the tube. So for the top, same thing. You'll start at the deposit and channel down, down, down towards the base of the pocket. Then I'm gonna come back, down, down, down. And honestly, you can actually come back up and do channeling back the other way just to ensure you have all that biofilm removed and all that calculus removed. So if I'm gonna channel interproximally with the curette style, so the tip is leading towards the interproximal, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna have it be on the lateral side and I'm gonna just do back and forth, down, down, down towards the base of the pocket. And then I'm gonna back and forth a millimeter up, up, up until I'm at the contact. And again, this will just really help get your tip interproximally as much as you can get remove that calculus because let's be honest a lot of times it's right in here and then be able to come back up let's activate this so i'll show you so i'm going to activate on the tooth i'm going to channel down 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 and then i'm going to channel up 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 again with just these millimeter strokes down 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 up 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 up, up. and then i'm going to go to the next section down 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 up 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 and then the next millimeter, down, 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 up, 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 up. And again, that'll just ensure we can cover this entire surface of the tube and get rid of the bacteria. I'm going to switch tips for these anterior teeth to do the channeling. I need something a little bit skinnier sometimes in these tight areas. So I'm using this Nordent Lux Point tip, which is a little bit thinner. And what we're going to do is we're going to start do the exact same thing. Start at the top of the deposit, go down to the base in our millimeter channeling, and then come up. And I'm gonna actually remove this calculus right now as you can see it. So I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna come up. And if you can see through the gingiva, exactly where I was touching was removed, but then to the sides where I wasn't touching is still there. So I need to make sure I'm going back, doing channeling in the next section, and then coming up, and then going back, channeling down in the next section, and coming up. Because sometimes with calculus removal, it's really tempting to see the calculus come out and call it good. But we want to make sure we're being really thorough and covering every surface of the tooth with our ultrasonic tip.